Generic greetings and welcome to Airships Conquer the Skies. Today's beverage is a freshly made cup of tea, so I'm not going to scald myself on that now. I'll wait until later. Uh, not to scald myself, I just hope that doesn't happen in general, but uh, to try the thing. Anyway, in a previous video, I went through some of the beta stuff and some of the additions, and that's now out along with a long list of balance changes. And the majority of those changes um, are actually around making aircraft better, so aerial hazards, planes, bombers, uh, they're just better, so either by having more health or faster reload time, that sort of thing, and making armour better, uh, predominantly making it cheaper so it's viable to make more armoured beasts. What we need to do then, uh, and I say need, more want to do, is design a airship, and I want to make a carrier, but a sort of heavily armoured carrier. Now the problem with that is I was thinking of maybe making something like this, so like using large suspendium um, uh, tanks like this, or uh, dust tanks, and then um, having it so that on top of this, we basically make it as long as we can, like a really, really, really long vessel like that, and having the aircraft all along the top, and making it fairly slim, uh, that should keep it really cheap. The problem with that is that these things cannot be armoured. If we go over to armour, you can see it's, uh, no, so like wooden armour, you can't armour these things. So that might be a problem. What we'll do then, I think we'll have we'll have it so that these things will keep it afloat, but we'll have a large suspendium chamber at the back here somewhere that will be on like a gondola thing hanging down, and that will be good enough to keep it just off the ground. So if these do get punished <laughs> and um, <laughs> get uh, destroyed, um, when I say punished, I meant um, perforated or pierced. Um, but I guess punishment is um, well accurate enough. Anyway, if these do get destroyed, damaged, or whatever, and start leaking, then this will hopefully keep us in the air. But let's just see how we get on. So, large suspendium dust tank, that's the size of it there. If we go over to aircraft, we can see we've now got biplane, bomber, hazabe, torpedo bomber, and triplane. Now, we understand that we're in the standard freeform building mode, so we can build whatever we want. However, in a campaign, this is all in the tech trees, which have been altered as well. So, we've got things like Bomber, Biplane, I'm going to go for Torpedo Bomber because I really like torpedoes in this game. And we'll put one there, and we'll put one there, like so. And we'll do that, like that, okay. Um, we want to have, uh, do you want to have a gap in between each one? I think there's no reason why we shouldn't. Um, there and there, there, there. I mean, I don't know how long we want to make this, but let's just go for... One, two, three, four, five, yeah, and then we want, I believe it's a biplane, exception good at shooting down other small flying units, uh, a triplane is lightly armoured targets, so we want a biplane then, and that is our carrier, although... Maybe if we make it one longer, we'll be able to fit another one of these torpedo bombers in. Like that. <laughs> do we really want it like that? I don't think we do. I think that is just far too long. Yeah, I think we had it right the first time. Okay. That's okay then. Biplane and biplane. Right, so we also... That's our that's our aircraft so far. It's already expensive. It's uh, 2,400. Uh, but it's two, four, five of these torpedo bombers and two, uh, two biplanes for shooting down other aircraft. So we'll go back over to our lift. So we want to go lift and then a large suspendium dust tank front end and this. The ability just to flip them. <sighs> I've been wanting that... <laughs> Pretty much since the game came out, having listing two of these, like having a list of uh, one pointing forward and one pointing back, was just intolerable when you had any sort of. Well, it was just intolerable f the best of times anyway, having to scroll really, really far. But having mods on, oh yeah, that's all kinds of bad. Hmm. Can confirm that that tea is quite nice and warm. So you can now flip it vertical, oh, so like top and bottom, and also left and right. That is really, really good. Um, Battlefield 5, or V5, whatever, take note, why on earth some of them skins are classed as different weapons because of the drop things and, uh, game. 
really fun yet so annoying. Anyway, uh, I digress. So this thing, it now has end caps, which is good. We want to have basic and we want corridor with ladder. No, we don't want corridor with ladder. We want to have, where is it? Structural and can we just have a deck with a ladder? Uh, deck, I don't think decks have ladders. Do they? they do not have that. So it's corridor with ladder that goes down to there. Like so, like so, and like so. Okay, so those are now, well, not strictly connected up just yet, but they will be. On the front of this thing, we want to have some... I'll be under command and crew. We want to have a crow's nest, like that. We want to have a bridge. Um, or do we want to put it, Do we want to put the bridge there? Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, we also want to have a telescope, so we'll have a telescope there. And that there, and then that there. So that's our <laughs> little front bit there. So we got a crow's nest and a telescope. So that increases accuracy. Uh, in terms of weapons, I don't know what we'll have on this. My instinct is to go with torpedoes, because it always is. However, those are splash damage, and that could destroy our own aircraft. Although it shouldn't, because these are torpedo bombs, so they drop from a height. So we'll see about that one. If we're going with the torpedo theme, then maybe. Anyway, so these require... Um, what does it say? It says rearm, required to supply, contain spots, one torpedo bomber. It doesn't say what they need to supply with, so I'm going to assume perhaps wrongly just just um, ammo. So what we'll do is we'll have under resources, we'll go to ammo store. I don't think an ammo store is necessary. I think a small ammo store will be fine, but the one at the front... We will have a large one because we're going to have some guns under there as well. Okay, so there's that. These will come down like so. And obviously all these are going to get connected uh, down here as well. So we do need a way to repair things. We do have a machine shop. Do we need a machine shop? Um, we, well, we need some fire points actually. So we'll put those in. Um, we'll put a fire point in the front and the back. So something like that is problematic actually. But hey ho, that'll be fine for now. Um, actually, no, we'll do we'll do that, and then we'll put this back there. That should be fine. Okay, there we are. Um, if there's a fire there, it's going to take a while to get to it, but that's all we can do, really. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to remove that. I'm going to put the machine shop in there so we can repair. Um, oh, the machine shop doesn't have... Oh, it does have... I was going to say, I thought it had. It does have a... Um, a connection. There we go. That's there, and then that's there. That's fine. Okay, so... We now need uh, somewhere to keep this afloat, so we need probably coal, like so, and propulsion of some kind. Propulsion will be a propeller just on the back there, like that. That is fine. Speed, it matters not. It really matters not. Service ceiling, 252 metres, however, that is not taking into account that these are probably going to be perforated at some point. In terms of lift then, we could go with a large suspendium chamber, but the problem with that is we need to have the top cleared, so we need to have something like that, because it has a chimney. So maybe um, this moon disk fragment, I'm guessing you get that, um, I'm guessing you get that while playing uh, the campaign mode. Anyway, uh, a suspendium chamber would be good. But that will require some more coal. So I'm going to do that and that. Because we do have... Yes, we do have an, an access bit there. And we'll have a suspendium chamber. Actually, I'll put it there. Then we'll have a suspendium chamber there. It means we've got some angles that we can work with to make it a bit more fashionable. Because that's the main thing. Hmm. Okay, so... That is fine. No crew, no supply hatches, can't give commands to ship. All correct. So, what do we want to do? Well, I want to go to command and crew and to a bridge. And I'm going to put a bridge in the centre. And, oh, is that is that a good idea? Because um, it might split in half. And it shouldn't split in half. Or do we put it around the back here with the rest of this? I'm... Probably going to put it there. And then what we'll do in troops, we'll have a guard post either side. And then just connect it like so. Because we will have some guard barracks in. Uh, we'll place it there. It doesn't really matter. And now we need some crew. Quarters. Quarters. 
Uh, crew 24 recommended 31. So we need a bit more. Um, if I if I remove if I move this along, it would fit in. Can we move it along though? I don't think we can. No, we can't. That's a shame. And let's use that one. Yes, it has. Okay. So maybe that for now. Right, there we go. So that's in. Um, weapons. So, what sort of weapons? Well, obviously there's some new stuff. We have things like the ballista. Aerial charges now, which are like a sort of Oh, they're not. I guess they are a sort of flak. Um, they just fire um, tanks of suspendium with a little bomb tip. A tank of charged suspendium dust carrying aloft a bomb fuse. To, yeah, so it just you literally let it go and it fly it goes whoop and flies up so like a helium balloon type thing. Um, other um, lighter than air gases are available, obviously. Um, front turrets. We could put a front turret on it like that. That would make a, that would make a lick of sense, wouldn't it? Um, I think that's what we'll do, you know. I think that's what we'll do. I'm going to move that further forward. It seems prudent to do so. And then we can do that, you see. And then we want... Oh, do we want a heavy cannon on it? Boom. No, we don't... Uh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> um. Right, so front turret, bottom, like that. Hey, that works, doesn't that, that does work. Like that, perhaps. And then... We've also got sponsons as well, remember? So sponsons can go wherever they want. Could put a sponson there. Oh, no, we can't. Could put, we could have sponsons lining this, couldn't we? That might be pretty cool. The problem with that is we would use very quickly, I think, the ammo. Okay. Let's stick to the plan. Cannon there. Is that good enough? I don't think so. I really want to put an aerial torpedo in. But I don't think it would be a good idea. But when does that stop me? Hmm. You know what? It, it just seemed to work when that was there. So there's that. What else could we have? There's a sponsor. <laughs> What we could have is <coughs> a sneeze. Excuse me. Um, right. So, uh, as of the time of recording, by the way, I, uh, I earlier today I flung an empty packet at the bin. It missed the bin, hit the side of an air freshener, or the, at least the nozzle of the air freshener, which snapped it a little. So it started venting into the room. I to then promptly uh, pick it up, look around and go, uh, 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 and then I basically opened the front window and lobbed it into the garden uh, because it was <laughs> impossible to breathe. And um, it's certainly done something to me because I've been uh, sneezing all day. So um, there you go. So, hmm, heavy cannon maybe? I think the Arc of Fire is too pathetic. Heavy cannon, heavy cannon, heavy cannon. It doesn't have an arc of fire. It can fire whatever which way it wants. Uh, fire arc is 40 degrees. No, you know what? You know what? Let's just stick to something quite cheap. Um, that. An acid spitter. No, that's not cheap. And could have a grape shot cannon. Just in case something gets close. Do I want that? No, I think I just want a cannon. Never underestimate a standard cannon. Right, so it has no supply hatches. We will resolve that by going over to uh, resources, I think. Yes, and reinforced steel cargo door will go there. Right, I think that is about right. In terms of armor, we've now got things like heavy steel armor that's a bit better now. Uh, or steel armor, heavy steel armor. The question is, what do we want? It's all about cost. I'm of the opinion that 
we probably don't want to over egg it. We don't need this thing to be stupidly armoured. Steel armor, HP 50, weight 10, absorbs 16 blast damage and 6 piercing. Heavy steel armor is double that in terms of the absorption. So absorbs 24 blast and 12 piercing. Weight is double and the HP is slightly less. Well, it's sorry, it's it's not it's it's not slightly less. It's 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 almost double. It's 90. Um so it's slightly less than double. So it comes down to cost, and heavy steel armor just keeps it under five grand. So we'll do that. Now, I want to put some shapes on this to make it a bit less, well, that shape. However, I'm not going to do it now, because this is version one. So I think version two will, will because I think we might have to alter the uh, amount of ammo that this thing has, and maybe the amount of coal, so we won't bother for now. So what's it called? The, uh, the Crosis. I don't mind that. Save design. We've done like the test. Uh, save design. Save. Let's give this one a go then. So we want to go to combat. Day. Add airship. And service ceiling is perfectly fine. I'm just going to put it back here. It doesn't really... Oh, actually, you know what? If I put it up here... If it ever beaches out, it'll land on that rock and it'll keep it afloat. Uh, is that a good idea? I don't know, but we're going to do it. Okay, so we want to add a airship. We will verse. We'll put a Coventry in there. And we'll have... Excalibur's a bit too expensive these days. Harrier. There's the Harrier. Um, how, If we had a Harrier, actually... We've got a Harrier, and we've got the one there. They are overpointed somewhat. New York. Actually, actually, the New York might be a decent test. It's a little bit more expensive. But I don't know. Um, the York class. No, the Leroy garbage. It needs to be about 3,000, and quite frankly, that's the only... It's the only one we've really got. Um, I mean, obviously the Denver will beat us anyway because it's going to charge and fling some borders at us. So, I mean, that's that's going to be a, an issue. Um, Harrier Test 1. That's near as damn it correct. So, 4,945 against enemy of 5,008. <coughs> okay. Um, let's give that a go. Start. So immediately, you can see planes will be launched. One, two, and ooh. There we go. Um, I will target this thing, the Coventry. So you can see that they've got bombers, and hopefully we are able to take them down. There is our explosions. Uh, you can see that our, our torpedo bombers are... Successfully torpedoing that. And we have lost... I lost a bit of that suspendium tank. Not too much of an issue yet. Um, you can see that's got right down now. And that could be an issue. So I'm going to back this thing up. Although I think it'll just stop when it hits that there. Most of our stuff, however, is... Most of our stuff anyway, in terms of fighting, is the planes. So I'm not really too bothered. Um, in terms of planes, by the way, I should point out that I believe our planes are... Happily taking out theirs. Um, are they getting rearmed? You can see the people working on it there. What the is that? Um, although I need to watch them. They're doing something there. Where are they going back and forward to? Are they going for coal? Picking up coal. doesn't say yet what they're getting armed with. It doesn't seem like they're doing anything. Oh. <laughs> the Coventry's uh, de-armed a bit, innit? Yeah. Oh, come on! I'm hit, I'm hit! Look at that portrait. Um, they've actually just taken their own vessel out there. Our own plane out, rather. 
Oh, the front's falling off. Look at that. We're hitting our, <laughs> we're hitting our own stuff. Um, that's a problem with Splash. Right, that's landed there. And it's just getting rearmed. It doesn't require this at all. It just takes time. By the look of it. So I can remove those. Well. I think. I think we are still okay. I think we'll have won this. Obviously the problem is that we've lost a bit of... We've uh, lost a bit of the front, and we've lost a plane, and we're going really snow <laughs> slow now because this is just caught on there. You see that? Oh, good grief. It's just catching there, so we're dragging two massive suspendium rocks, plus what's left of the, the Coventry. Well, anyway, let's just see how it goes. So, torpedoes are still hitting it. In fact, you can see <laughs> the, the, uh, the biplane's strafing it, and the... Uh, the cannons are still coming in. There's a cannon shot. Hmm. Well, that's surprising, actually. Okay. We'll leave that combat. Let's work on the second revision. Or rather, first revision, I guess. Um, so, airship editor. Open the design. We'll open up the necrosis. And we want a version to it. So... All of these points here, we just don't need. Just double checking that that does say requires two supply contains and sports one torpedo bomber, operation two crew. Turning to rearm, and what does these? What does this say? Uh, requires one unit of coal. Yep, that's what it requires, and these require. It doesn't say, but obviously it will be ammo. So I'm guessing I can just get rid of all of these ammo bits along here. There's no, there's no need in it. Um, okay. So we'll have a bit of a rework then. So that can go there. That can go there. That can go there. We'll have double boarding protection there. Uh, crew is acceptable. That can go in... Oh, can it go there? Is that connected? I don't think it is. Uh, I don't think there's a connection there, is there? There's a connection there, though. Let me just go to pathing. Yeah, it goes down that way. Okay. Oh! Actually, if you notice, it goes up there as well. That's pretty good. So, removing those ammo points has not really made it any cheaper, quite frankly. But it has... It has made it less explodey, which is always an advantage in life. I'm going to put another cannon on the front, I think. And just for effect, I'm going to do that, so it's pointing forward a bit. Um, I mean, I could have put some drop sponsons on it, but... Nah, I didn't, decided not to. Decided against it. I don't think we need much more. Um, what I did want to do, ideally, though, is have that knot um, stick out there. I like it to be flush against that. Is there a way that we could do that? We would have to move this to that side. Which is something I could do. If I just shift this. It's not too much work. It might look like a lot of work, but it isn't. Um, like that. There you go. See, done already. And I prefer that. Yes. In fact, we could make it street one big... We could change this up entirely, actually. Let's get rid of that to there. Put that there. Call point will go there. Um, no, that's not going to work. Well, actually, it might work. It might work, how I was thinking. Like that. It's a bit flatter now. Um, problem is the, the hatch is there, so it's very quickly, <laughs> it's very easy to get to there, to the command. That means we can probably shift this along then. If we shift all of these along, uh, to 
there, and there. One, two, that's enough. Three, and that's a bit more space efficient, I believe. If we do that, though, we get everything f in a bit better. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I think that's a bit better. Uh, in terms of armour, we're still going to go with that uh, heavy steel armour. Uh, we're going to save the design. We're not going to. We're not going to market version two. That's fine. So, combat. Bit of rain. Why not? Or a storm. So, airship. Ooh. They're not all mutually accessible. Okay. What have I done? Oh. Oh, right. Okay. My mistake. Now it's fine. Yes, save the design. Combat. Storm. Airship. That one. Just put it around there for now. And it is a tiny bit. It's about it's near as damn it the same. So add airship. Let's first the New York. This will be a bit of a test. Because that's got loads of aerial hazards. And this thing was about gaining... It was about gaining air superiority. So we didn't have loads of bombers. But what we did have is... Um, triplanes to attack multiple targets. You can take... I think we can take our planes and take out... Um, vessels in... Pretty much equal eff effectiveness. Uh, and then obviously the hazards are very good at um, attacking... Uh, Vessels in general. However, it also has two suspendium cannons, so long-range fire is good for it. So, for that reason, I'm going to move it further forward, <laughs> and we will start the fight. So, I'm not too confident on this one, because I think New York is just a better class of vessel. And I think, quite frankly, because of... Yeah, there is... Look at the, all, the aerial hazards. They are just shredding my planes. Yeah, we've lost already. We've com we've lost already. Um, the aerial hazards have taken out... Most of my planes, if not all of them. Nope, we've got one left. And we're getting swarmed. Right, we've already lost. <laughs> and the aerial hazards are coming in. Okay, so we will uh, leave that fight. We now know that we're not versing that again. <laughs> There's a reason why we use that in the campaign quite a bit. Uh, we'll go to combat again. Uh, we'll have uh, airship. We'll have the necrosis. And we'll put that in and around there. We will add an airship of... Uh, what about... I mean, we could put it against. That's a. That, the Harrier test is not as good. The Harrier there, that one, is a bit better because it's got flak all over it. Uh, the Leroy, no, useless. Uh, the New York, we've just had our. Uh, well, we've just been hammered by it. Um, and we've also got the. I'll tell you what, we'll put in a Dresden. Um, high level arm. I say high level arm bomber. Not that high level. Look at that. It's not actually able to get to us. So that's an advantage we have. So it would be unfair for me to feel that. What about land ship? What land ships have we got? The Encroacher and the Paris. I think the Paris would be able to absolutely hammer. The Paris has got uh, two or three biplanes and one, two, three, four bombers. Let's just see who wins this fight. I'm going to put it on solid ground there because it'll be crushing these trees. And then we'll start that. So you can see it's immediately, for some reason, charging forward. Oh, yeah, I should also point that this thing is stupidly fast. Uh, I'm going to bring this right down. Because it's it's going to try and get underneath me. And I really don't want that. Um, no, 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 no. Actually, it probably would have go for a ram. Uh, back over, back over, back over. And that's bad. Um, I say that's bad. Does it really matter? Let's move back over. It's not the quickest vessel in the world, this thing. Um, we seem to be... I don't know. Are we winning? I don't really know. Um, I'm going to move to there. In terms of planes, we have... Oh! We've got an explosion at the back. And we've just been hit by lightning as well. In terms of planes, we are dueling theirs... And their bombers are really hitting us. 
See, because they're moving really quick, a lot of our torpedoes are missing. I still th I think they might have us here. They're certainly more armed than us. Look at that, we're leaking suspendium all over the place. But we're still staying in the air. We're not staying in the air anymore. Um, and there's the front just falling off the ship. Yeah, we've only got one bomber left. Okay, I think we've lost that as well. Hmm, it's not going too well, this. I don't know whether it's just the, uh, the suspendium airbags. Or it's just a flawed design. It doesn't help that we are putting them against vessels that are known to be effective. <laughs> as in, whatever's left in this list, a apart from a couple of uh, outliers, all of these are good. Um, we've used them in the campaign very successfully. So, let's just try. Um, we'll have that. I mean, in terms of building. I mean, you've got, like, the turret, the white lookout. I mean... It's not even fair to put this in here, but we're going to put the white lookout in. We'll put it there, look. White lookout. What's that on now? Uh, 1,300 just for that. And look at the amount of guns on the thing. Um, airship. We've got the Barry. Bot fly. Um, about 3,000 again. Probably another Harrier. So, there you go. That again, near his damage. So, 4,975 against 4,901. We have the point advantage. However, they also have more flak and more cannon. Let's start, and we'll see what happens. I will... Oh, inside. intercept confirmed, um, but the problem is that they will almost certainly be better. Uh, I'm going to try and take out this thing first. Oh, look at that. The flak's already taken out two of my, uh, two of my ships. Uh, to my um, aircraft, ra rather. The good thing about the about the torpedo bombers over the bombers is you can see the way they launch them. They can actually launch them vertically. They can, well, not vertically, but they can launch them at an angle, whereas the bombers have to drop down over. The, you might notice that these... Um, oh, when you go down... Oh, good grief. That's just pilot error. I've just lost the game. Yeah, leave. <laughs> if you let them get underneath you, they're just going to flack. The, uh, the bottom of it. Uh, let's go to... We'll try that again, but with uh, probably... Well, not probably, but hopefully less uselessness. Um, so, building. It's a white lookout. Put it there. And airship. It's the Harrier. And there. And then we will start the fight. Uh, we'll put it back on the storm because it looks quite good. We will focus on the one at the back. So, you notice here. Watch this. So, that, that's one shot down. And that's shut down as well. Great. Good start. But watch this. When it launches... No, oh, you know what? No. Target that one. It's launching before it gets there. There you go. See that? Launched. And it goes into it rather than over the top. Problem is we've lost... Again, we've lost our... Uh, we've lost all, all but two planes. <sighs> one last time. Come on. Combat. <laughs> the Croesus. Um, Harrier test. Oh, hang on, that's not that one. Uh, Harrier test. Oh, Harrier standard. Building a white lookout. Okay. Start. Issue the order to attack that. Because I don't want them flying over the top. But they're not intercepting the planes, which is a shame. There we go. So you see that? They're launching them and they're not going over the top. That's the advantage of the torpedoes and the fact that they take chunks right out the front there. Um, the other vessel's trying to get above us. And we're going to go up just enough. It's just rammed us. <laughs> and we're going to go down because I know they're trying to get under. Um, the, just, quite frankly, we're just going to lose air superiority again. We've only got that plane there. That's the issue we have. Although we have taken out this somewhat. Um. Ooh. It's not terrible. It just needs some tweaking. Um. You know what we might try? One more fight. He says it's not terrible, but it hasn't won one yet. No, it's won one. Uh, airship. All right. Um, 
side against Harrier. And a couple of Barrys, maybe. They're a little bit overpointed, but I think we can handle that. Uh, move to... No, because we'll get, we'll get flack to death if we're there. Move to there so they can hopefully not get around as much. So... There's our planes away. We'll target. Probably them again. We'll see how we get on. So there's the planes launching. See they're coming in with their planes. Um, are they grape shots on the barries? I thought they were cannons. Are oh, the grape shots? Oh, good grief. We're down. We're dead already. <laughs> <laughs> right, the main problem is that we're not gaining air superiority. We never will. Um, we need some flak. I think we can call this design a good idea, bad execution. The bits that survive, like, well, the main superstructure is fine. These, these balloons aren't a massive problem. Um, I think what we need to do is change these guns here to grape shot so when planes are coming in they get grape shot or, or gatling guns would be good as well just so we can take down other planes uh having a couple of flak on the top would be nice as well but then we're making something similar to that i just want to make something very quick and well very quick and dirty that had um, a lot of air power but um yeah not so much okay i think we can happily leave that there that has been some interesting uh, build or some interesting results rather I would have thought it would have been a bit better perhaps not uh, what would you have done differently uh, let us know and um, I might go ahead and revisit that uh, it's interesting to see that the changes that have been made aerial hazards um, from that test there and a couple I've done previously seem to be really powerful now well, I mean they're always pretty good but um, they seem to be really good now and uh, having more armoured stuff is pretty cool also. Either way, hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have any ideas for designs and things we can do and stuff, then by all means put them in the comments. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.